It all started with an annoying buzz in the middle of the night. You thought that a bad night's sleep was all you had to worry about. Now you have a rash all over, your nose is bleeding, and that intense headache just won't go away. Turns out that this bloodsucker kills more humans than any other animal. Here's how to survive Dengue Fever. This illness is caused by the dengue virus. It's transmitted to humans through a bite from an infected mosquito. The virus can be found in over 100 countries, including the regions of Southeast Asia, the Western Pacific, and the Americas. Every year, 100 to 400 million dengue infections occur, and about half a million people develop potentially life-threatening hemorrhagic fever. What could you do to stop the spread of dengue fever? Why is getting infected a second time more deadly? How could taking aspirin be the worst thing to do? Step 1. Keep mosquitoes away. The primary culprit behind the spread of the dengue virus is the female Aedes aegypti mosquito. It can live anywhere food is available, and humans like you are often the main dish. Males can carry the virus, but luckily for you, they stick to plants when it's time to eat. Female mosquitoes are particularly dangerous when they start a feeding frenzy before laying eggs. They mostly feast at sunset and sunrise. Don't make a home for them. Get rid of any solid waste and standing water where mosquitoes could breed. Step 2. Beware of blood. About 80% of dengue fever cases are mild and asymptomatic, but you need to stay vigilant. There are three stages of the disease. The febrile phase can last up to seven days. You'll experience intense headaches, pain across all of your body, and rashes. The second is the critical phase, which lasts about 24 hours. You may be fooled into thinking you're getting better as your symptoms begin to subside, but it's this stage where you're at risk of developing severe dengue. Blood in your stool or vomit are indicators, and you'll need to get medical care immediately. Additional complications include a buildup of fluid in the tissue around your lungs and extremely low protein levels in your blood. This can result in a dramatic drop in blood pressure, and you can go into a shock or die. The third stage of the disease, the convalescent phase, occurs when your blood pressure stabilizes and recovery is underway. Step 3. Don't take aspirin. With all the pain you're going through, you might want to reach for over-the-counter medications such as ibuprofen or aspirin to relieve your misery. Avoid them both. These are anti-inflammatories and will thin your blood, reducing your blood pressure further and increasing the risk of hemorrhaging. Instead, try something like ancitamedifin to help with the pain and fever. Step 4. Don't go for a second round. You had dengue fever and survived. Now you need to be even more careful. If you get reinfected, it could be severe. Freelance writer Georgie Darling contracted dengue fever for the first time in 2020. She recovered with no issue after a week, but the second time around wasn't as easy. Writing for The Guardian, she described the experience as agonizing. The severe pain had her in tears for several days. Step 5. Stop the spread. The ability to control and prevent dengue fever is a community effort. Don't expose yourself to mosquitoes while you're infected. If a mosquito feeds on you, the virus will enter its gut and replicate. Then it'll make its way through the bug's salivary glands, ready to infect the next person it takes blood from, and it will continue to do so until someone finally swats it out of existence. Talking about animal bites that can result in severe illness, that beloved cat of yours can infect you with bacteria that can blind you and mess with your brain. But we can help you with that, here on How to Survive.